we stunt in on them, babe. Hi, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I'm Katie Bing. I hope you enjoy your stay. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to join our family. Not to brag, but I think we're pretty dang cool. And I love every single one of you guys. So make sure to join our family. Also make sure to co comment down below and talk to me because I literally enjoy having conversations with you guys so much and I will respond. Like I, I literally love talking to you guys. So talk to me. Today's video, I really think this channel is just about my life and my animals and everything. And I want to make you guys, since I feel like you guys are my family, I want you guys to feel like you have like the inside scoop. So I'm going to show you my room. I'm going to show you where I keep my reptiles. I've pretty much turned in my house, my office into my small animal room and my room into my reptile room. In my reptile room, I have two snakes. I have two bearded dragons and I have my leopard gecko. My Mexican black king snake is in my living room just because he's like pretty and he likes to explore a lot. So he looks pretty there. I wanted to put, I had one really nice wood cage. I'll, I'll show you that setup. That'll be like a future video. I wanted to just take advantage of how pretty and handsome and beautiful he is and put that on display because I think snakes are pretty and I'm weird. So he's in my living room. I'll show you that new cage setup soon. But in my big reptile cage, I have my two bearded dragons and my two snakes, so I'll show you that. I'll also show you my bed and my mirror that I take like pictures in. So let's get right on into the video. Hello, we are in my room. This is Sasha, and I'm going to give you a little quick room tour with my dot filming, and then I'm going to go a little bit closer in on the animal cages and show you everything about that. So, first off, my bed. I just spent $145 on memory foam and gel to make my bed comfortable. This is my client dog, Cleo. She's a chihuahua and she likes to bark, and, and, uh, bark at and attack people. So she's learning her life. That's Jazzy on the bed as always. She literally sleeps all the time or runs. That's Max, another boarding dog. Then we have my nightstand, which is where you would normally keep like clothes. Um, I keep snacks in there uh, <laughs> for when I get hungry. Then we have this, which my leopard gecko's on. All of my animal stuff is in here. And then we got my reptiles. This is Sasha's cage. We have Douglas the beardy, Samanda, and then J. Cole the bearded dragon. You want to hear something funny? This is the rooted in love sign that my mom got me for my 13th birthday and now we don't talk. There's Sasha going in. She just finished her shed. So she's actually really hungry and is going to be getting fed tonight. Okay, so this is my room. I'll go a little bit more in depth with me having the camera. Okay, we kicked my dad out. He is gone. So I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna show you around my style. Here's my leopard gecko. Here's my TV that I don't have time to watch. Here's some client dog kennels. I always have like one or two, just in case client dogs need to be kenneled. Doug is hanging out. I'll show you him. Hi, Doug. How are you, bro? He's right by the light, so it's hard to focus. Hi, Doug. Hi, Hansa. Then we have Sasha. Hi, Sash. How you doing? She just shed. She's gonna eat tonight. Hi, pretty princess. She's my ball python, who I love so much. Hey, pretty girl. And I love these because she climbs all over them. So it's super nice to have them interactive. I also want to make her cage a little bit more interactive, but she loves it for the most part. She's a lot more comfortable in this one than she was in just her tank. And then we have Samanda. I feel like Samanda's always really I'm grateful, so I just emptied her water. Hold on, pretty girl. I'm filling it up right now. She's like, okay, bye. Girl, you just got your water filled. Take a sip. Okay, a PSA I want to make for anyone that has a ball python or any type of snake that needs humidity is invest in one of these. These thingies are the bomb. I'll show you. You pump them up like I just did. You hold this down and you spray. You give it a pump or two. Then it's missed. It's not working. Hold on. 
And then I just mist it down for you instead of you having to use a spray bottle. And I swear, my forearms were getting ripped from the spray bottle, but this is a lot more convenient. And then when you're done, you just take it out and you're done. Oh, how pretty are my broken nails? Love that. Douglas wants to say hi. Hey, dude. What's up? I don't have any worms right now. I'm sorry, dude. You get some in the morning, though. He's like, you got worms, mom? People always ask how J. Cole's doing, and he's doing great. He's eating well. We're living life. He's loving it. But he just, he doesn't love me that much. Right, J. Cole? Hey, buddy. He's just not a fan of me. Um, which is fine. No hard feelings. I'm just happy he's eating well and drinking and has a safe home. But yeah, definitely not my biggest fan in the world. I don't know if he was socialized a lot when he was younger. But hey buddy, his body looks weird from this angle. And his tail is a little messed up. But I don't know why. He was a rescue um, one of my old friends found in his yard. So, I got him. And he's so pretty. Hi, J. Cole. Oh, he's not happy. Okay, he's going to go back. A fun fact about me is I always am reading, but I always have greasy fingers because I eat and I read at the same time. So my books always end up looking like this, which is gross. And another thing is one time my phone crashed and I lost all my stuff. So now I'm a psychopath. And write everything down. And this is funny. Um, my boyfriend and I, one day he wrote in it and signed it and stuff. So I have our signatures. Wow, we're so much over literally five. And this is the bunny my dad got me. Um, and this is the sloth my dad got me. The sloth has a wound on his butt, but he's hanging in there. And then I have little flowers. I was like, I told him the other day, I was like, my flowers died that you got me and that made me sad. And he was like, hey Katie, look in your bike basket because I always have my bike outside because I bike the dogs. And he left flowers in them. Hmm, look how pretty they are. They're so pretty. Oh, I'm like so baby when I'm like in love. I hate myself. <laughs> okay, now my leopard gecko. She's tamed down quite a bit as you can see. She's still... Um, not in love with being handled, but she uh, walks all over my palm and she'll chill with me when I'm doing my binder in my room. So she's definitely tamed down quite a bit, but she does like to move. She's a very active gek. And here's her enclosure. She's going away, but here's her enclosure. I keep her on paper towel. I used to keep her on reptile carpet, but paper towel is honestly so much easier. I have her wet moss in here for her wet hide. Mason drawers hold it in so nicely, and I do this on her warm side so it gets the humidity higher. Then her cool side holds her water so it evaporates less quickly, and she has a hide on everything, and then her little calcium dish. But yeah, her cage is pretty simple, but I love her. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. Let me know how you feel about all the animals, which animal was your favorite, and how you feel about my room. I think it's pretty homey and cute. I'm pretty simple. I don't spend a lot of time, like, sleeping in my room or, I don't know, living in my room. I feel like I'm always out and about. So it's nice to just have, like, a nice, simple reptile place to come home and live and, yeah, so... Let me know what you think. I don't know what my point was with that. Make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate you, and I will see you next video. Bye!